Well, you know what they say. The trail's not going to walk itself. So I guess I'm going to go walk the trail. Mm. It is early, but not quite as early as the last couple days. Had my coffee and my Pop-Tart. Uh, about 5.45, I believe it is. This will be about 6.30 by the time I get out of here, probably. By the time I get the tent down and everything. Back is still hurting. It was not that fun sleeping last night because everything I did hurt. Uh, well, gotta go through it. Back hurting? Check. <laughs> Runny nose? Check. Wide awake? Check. Gonna try to get 32 miles, give or take? Check. See what happens, but gonna try to knock out as many of those 44 remaining that I have today so that the next day, tomorrow, is a small amount and gets me in really early to a ball bridge and the general store and get some food and uh, get on the list to uh, go stay at, uh, oh boy, Birches? Yeah, the Birches, <laughs> which is where you stay overnight before you summit, uh, but you have to they only allow 12 a day to be at the Birches, so otherwise I put you in a different campground. So I'm going to try to get there as early as I can so I can get on that list, if possible. Uh, so, knock as many miles out today as possible is the goal. And try to make the back feel as good as possible is the other goal. Running low on food, so I can't wait till I get to the general store uh, tomorrow sometime. Alright, let's get on the trail. So far going pretty good today. Uh, the back is still hurting, <laughs> but nowhere near as bad at this moment. It's still somewhat early in the day. Got a lot of miles ahead of me. If I could keep this pace, I could knock those miles out at a decent rate at least. Get myself within 10 or 11 miles of A-Ball Bridge so I could get in there in the morning. I feel like, uh, here for the last couple hours. Something's jabbing me in my back. I've rearranged my pack a couple times. There's nothing jabbing me from the inside, so it must just be where the pain is that makes it feel like that. So I don't know if there's like something swollen in there or uh, inflamed or what, but as of right now, it's doing a lot better than it was yesterday. Hopefully it continues to get better throughout the day because uh, that was almost debilitating yesterday at times had to keep stopping and taking my pack off and just trying to live with it you know don't want to do that today as much as possible rather just keep moving forward I mean I still had a good day yesterday don't get me wrong so I got 20 miles or no no I'm sorry it's about 17 miles uh, but that's okay I'm gonna make up for that today and hopefully get 30 plus and uh, be in a really good position for getting an A-ball bridge tomorrow. <laughs> I'm getting so excited, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, I will be walking into Baxter Park, Baxter State Park, and getting set up and ready to summit Katahdin. I'm so stinking excited. The journey's coming to an end, but that's just one chapter of a lifelong journey of living life. Yeah, baby, 
Oh yeah, I got a little pep in my step today. The back's feeling a little better. Oh, any kind of pain is better than yesterday. Not any kind of pain, I should say that, because it can always get worse. Those that say it can never get worse have never obviously had to get worse because it can always get worse. I've lived that. Just when you think it can't get worse, your world is already crashing. You find out, oh, my world could crash in even more. You just got to roll with the punches and keep overcoming mountains, man. That's what it's all about. Overcoming the freaking mountains. And those freaking mountains, one left. Mount Katahdin is going to be coming real soon. And I can't wait to stand on top of Mount Katahdin and put her in the bag. Woo! One thing I've noticed and a lot of other hikers that I've talked to out here since being in Maine have also noticed squirrels are mean here. They yell at you when you walk by. They could be in their trees, nowhere near you. It's not like they try to attack you or anything, but they're just annoying. <laughs> they go, whatever noise they make. I obviously can't make that noise. It's a little high pitch for me, <laughs> but they are kind of mean. Well, today, I mean, this happens once in a while, but it's been happening all morning so far for hours. And that's the fact that they just keep throwing their nuts at me from up in the trees. Luckily, none's hit, hit me yet, but they land like right next to me or in front of me. And they're like, y'all are mean throwing your nuts at me. That's, that's your food for the winter, man. You should be holding on to that stuff and saving it. But no, let's throw it at Fortune as he walks by underneath us. That's the plan for today. <laughs> Silly little Maine squirrels. About 10 miles in for the day. Uh, elevation, I don't even know. It's been pretty flat, so I don't even think it's more than a thousand. Probably more like 500. Um, the back is still doing okay. It's better than yesterday, I'll put it that way. Uh, it's, it was pretty severe yesterday. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't wanna worry everybody. Uh, it was actually more painful than when I had the compressed fracture on the PCT. That never, I mean, that would, you know, feel like it was knocking the wind out of me sometimes, but never anything like what was happening yesterday. That was just bizarre. It was hurting so bad and so hard out of nowhere. I mean, I can't say nowhere because it had to hurt the couple days before, but very mildly just, you know, I get those back pains every once in a while, just from the backpack being heavy or whatnot from, uh, you know, on a resupply day or maybe just not fitting right or something which can happen, put it on differently than you do other times, but it was uh, definitely pretty severe yesterday, so I didn't know what happened. You know, could have cracked a rib even or something or pulled a muscle, or I don't know. All I know is it's better today so far, 10 miles in. Hear that chipmunk yelling at me? You hear that? <laughs> uh, I mean, I mean squirrel, not chipmunk. Uh, it is still pretty bad though, so it's not mild. It's more than mild. It still hurts pretty badly to cough. I can't get a full cough out when I cough. I'm like, 
I have to do that, and that's, that hurts right there, but like a full cough, I can't do. So it's still, still painful, whatever's going on there. I have mild foot pain, mild knee pain, mild hip pain. Feet, knee, hip. <laughs> I feel like I said one of those twice, <laughs> but I did not I mean to. Uh, so those are just mild, you know, wear and tear on the body. <sighs> Looking forward to some days off and rest and relaxation. Uh, the back, definitely looking for some days off. But for right now, I'm still going strong, so that's a good thing. And uh, like I said, 10 miles in, playing on a 30 today, so, or plus, 30 plus, if I can, so. See what happens, but so far, so good, going strong. I wanted to clarify something when I said earlier about my back pain and that I can't cough without it being excruciating. Still, I don't want you to think that there's anything wrong with my lungs. Uh, I'm not sick or anything. There's no phlegm buildup or fluid in the lungs or anything like that. I just mean that normal cough that you have to do sometimes or something tickles your throat or something like that. I can't do that very well. Uh, so, I just want to tell everybody that so they're not worried that I have COVID or pneumonia or something. It's nothing like that at all. Just that simple cough that you have to do sometimes uh, when you have, uh, you know, a cracker in your throat or, or you swallow wrong or something like that. That's all I meant. All right. those colors. Wow. Beautiful spot. Look at those colors. Nice little fall. Another one up there. I'm gonna sit here and get some water and eat something real quick and head on. No time to waste today. I'm killing it so far on miles and speed and pace. Gonna try to keep that up and get as many miles as I can today. Oh, but this is beautiful. Wait, is that seven up? <laughs>
24 miles in for the day so far. Feeling pretty strong. But I'm still hurting. Oh, in the back, the knees, and now my heel again. Feeling all three pains. Mainly because none of them are super bad. <laughs> when it's really bad, you only feel that one pain. Uh, but like I said, 20... Uh, 25, I'm sorry, 25 miles in. It was 24 about a mile ago, and I was going to do a clip, and I never did, so I forgot to look at it again. So it's about 25 miles right now. Uh, going to go at least eight more. And uh, see from there if I'm going to continue or if I'll set up camp there. That spot will be 11 miles from A-Ball Bridge in the morning. So it'll be close enough. I wouldn't mind being closer, but I have to have enough time and I have to check to see if there are any campsites because there's a shelter, a lean-to after that, which is about six or seven more miles. Uh, get me super close to A-Ball Bridge that way, but that's an awful long time more because by then, I will be right around 32 or 33 miles. So. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know yet. <laughs> but I will see. I want to get as close to A-Ball as I can. Abel, A-Ball. I don't really know how to pronounce that. But get as close to it as I can. So it makes the morning less stressful. Because the earlier I'm there, the better chance I have of getting on the list to be able to stay at the birches, which is where, uh, it's not you don't have to stay at the birches. Uh, if the birches are filled up, the 12 people there, they could still put people around some of the other campgrounds, but they do cut it off after so many. Uh, only so many through hikers are allowed to through hike each day uh, to summit. So the later I wait for that, the better chance I have of not being able to summit the following day. So. And then I'd have to wait an extra day, which is fine because now I pushed everything back, Amtrak and everything, but I prefer to just get it done just in case the back gets worse and get it over with and be able to rest. Give myself, give myself, give myself, <laughs> myself, give myself an extra day of rest before heading out on Amtrak and being <laughs> canned up like a can of sardines. <laughs> so, anyway, that's the plan. At least eight more miles today. Possibly. Possibly more than that. We'll just have to see. fairly dried up water crossing all these red leaves where are they coming from oh there it is <laughs> one red tree in the midst of all of them a lot of pines even down low so not getting to see quite as much of the coloring as i was hoping but still seeing quite a bit of it it is definitely getting close to peak for sure might be slowing down a bit <laughs> you'll have that sometimes when you've done a lot of miles when the rocks jump up say hey climb me but I don't want to <laughs> some more stone stairs Been a lot of beautiful views today of the forest and water. Uh, I've showed some of it, not as much as I normally would, mainly because 
This is day four with no recharge of my devices. Obviously I could charge my phone with my bank, charging bank, but that's running out. And I still have to get through tonight and tomorrow night and down Katahdin, still being able to get a signal for uh, my ride <laughs> in case I need to get a hold of my ride. So I'm conserving because I want really good video of Katahdin. So probably be a little less tomorrow too. Uh, just know that it's beautiful out here. <laughs> I'll show you what I can, obviously, but I still have to conserve at the same time and still be able to give you the good video that I know you all want. So it makes you feel like you're right here with me. But unfortunately, I can't do that quite as much as I would like right now. Because I have to have... I think I just said all this. <laughs> I, I conserve, need to conserve my phone until the very end, so... I'll, I won't repeat it a third time. I promise. All right, carry on. This is called the Rainbow Deadwaters. It's just a pond that comes off of the lake. Such a weird name. The dead waters. These waters be dead. Keep hearing moose calls out here but haven't seen any. Just another little pond, getting close to Rainbow Lake. Check this out. A-Ball Bridge, 12.8. A-Ball Bridge is the beginning of Baxter State Park. I'll hit that in the morning. I'm not going all that way tonight. Uh, I'll be done here in about a mile and a half or two miles. Rainbow Lake. How about that for some nice views? Hmm, I wonder what that might be over there. Very clear water, absolutely beautiful. Right over there is a spring. Good grief, it's gorgeous. Towards the end of the afternoon, beginning of evening, the sun will be setting within the hour. Hearing all kinds of moose out there. Just gorgeous, I'm telling you. My day is done. 
Got the tent set up. Just going to get some of that spring water. Go up and cook some dinner. Lots of dinner. Burn a lot of calories a day. And uh, hit the hay and get started early tomorrow. 34 miles today. Yeah, baby, that feels good. My back's sore, but it actually feels better now than it did this morning. Tons better than it did yesterday. 11 miles to Abal Bridge. 26 miles to the summit of Katahdin. 26 miles to go on this Appalachian Trail through hike. And with that, I bid you all good night. Live life.